Finally tonight, a Spokane computer consultant has run across a computer program that he says is the wave of the future. Now take a look at this. It's actually a compact disc that uses video-like images and digital sound. Steve Becker has more. It used to be that all computers were pretty much the same. You type in the word tiger, for example, and that's all you'd see. But now there's something different on the market. If you type in the word tiger, you can really see one just like this. This isn't a videotape. It is the image of a tiger that's been stored on a compact disc computer program. The program was produced by the National Geographic Society and is an encyclopedia of mammals. There are pictures and digital sounds of everything from big cats to Tasmanian devils. Virtually anything that's on paper now is going to CD-ROM. I believe we could go downtown to the Spokane Public Library and find a lot of information on CD-ROM already. And just everything is going to CD-ROM. And it's not exactly Frank correct, Delaney but, is a know, computer consultant who was asked to review a copy of the National Geographic Animal Program. He says the main drawback right now to this kind of technology is cost. Most CD-ROM or compact disc read-only memory programs cost from $200 to $2,000. But a program like this can store the same amount of information that you'd find in several sets of encyclopedias. You see that on a, on a personal computer, you realize that you've caught a glimpse of the future. And sometime in the future, we won't have a separate television. We'll have an intelligent electronic device in our households that will be our window into the world. But Frank admits books on compact disc do have one drawback. They make it real hard to read in bed. Steve Becker, Krem 2 News. Frank Delaney is host of a weekly segment on KPBX Radio in Spokane.